So close. Uh, first of all, congratulations John, on on your win. Uh, I'd like your your re your reaction to the fight. Uh, you said that you asked for an easy opponent and and, and they gave you Silva. Uh, what what went wrong in the in the fight? Like compared to what you were you, you were expecting to do. Uh, like everything we the mic, the mic, the mic, please. <laughs> Uh, everything like we trained for, we expect them to be slow and throw big, big punches like that. Like I came out in the first, and I uh, execute. I was executing the game plan right, and then, uh, then in the second, I kind of went a little, a little retard and a little brain fart, and uh, started going back to my old habits, and uh, made it a little bit tougher than what the fight should have actually been. How did you did you score the fight? Did you know that like uh, after the fight was over, you 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 would win? Um, I was thinking I had won the first two rounds, but uh, like my uh, like Courtney told me, um, when you come when you come to Brazil, you're already down one round. So I thought I thought the judges were gonna you know go in his favor. Uh, and, and how how close were the the glitching chokes? In the, the guillotine? Yeah. Uh, it was pretty tight. That's why I went for a slam. I had seen a video uh, earlier this week where the guy had a guillotine and he and he went back like that and he knocked the guy out. So I was like, fuck it, I might as well try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'd like to know, uh, is there any, any beef between you and Cormier? I, 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 I didn't quite understand what was going on there. Uh, no, he kind of, uh, it was like a little thing we did uh, earlier this week for the media, and I had called P Paul Felder out, and uh, he was like, all he's going to do is hold you against the cage. And uh, as I was holding him against the cage, I'm like, fuck, this is what DC was talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's... Is, the, is, the, is that a fight you, you, you hope happens one day? Because I know you, you, you uh, mentioned Darius and... Uh, no, it was like, they, they were like doing like asking, uh, ask the commentary like weird questions. And I'm like, dude, that's the only like, only question I would want to ask, like just joking around. But yeah. I wouldn't mind fighting him, you know what I mean? He's, he's been off for a while, you know what I mean? So he might be the easiest fight. Yeah, yeah. And, and last one for me, you mentioned Darius and, and, and Turner, right? Like yes. The, the, the fights won next, why? Uh, Benil, he has a, he has a win. Uh, he beat me. I would love to get that back. And Turner, I, I just don't believe he deserves to be in that top 15. You know, he hasn't beat anyone, really. And he's ranked in the top 15. So uh, the Michigan tattoo. On yeah. your chest. Yeah. We know you're from Michigan and uh, extremely cold state. Yes. Do you think that your grueling like fighting style where you just drive forward bull like, does that come from like the cold weather in Michigan and just the fact that it like makes you like hard? I've been to Michigan uh, for winter. It's yeah, man. Every everyone from Michigan uh, or even just the Midwest, you know, we, we got those four seasons. Uh, we got it where, you know, the winters are really cold and, you know, we're tough workers, you know what I mean? You have to work out in that cold. Uh, it's, it's not for everyone. Are there any uh, like uh, different training methods, like jumping in the uh, frozen lake, Lake Superior, anything like that? No, that no. I, I live out in Arizona now, so uh, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of a little pussy now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Just a couple over here, Drakkar, because I was seeing you were talking to James Lynch, and you were kind of saying that. A lot of UFC is almost like WWE persona driven nowadays. Oh like, yeah, brother. <laughs> do you feel like the call out kind of like fuels that almost like having the post fight call outs? I mean, obviously the talented fighter acumen is there, but is that going to advance the career? Um, that kind it's of like stuff? it's you kind of have to, you know what I mean? They have to have a storyline. Um, you know, I think me and Benel, we have a storyline now. He, he beat me. It was a, it was a great fight. Um, you know, I'm on a four fight win streak. Uh, he's lost a couple. Um, let me fight him and take his number. And I was noticing in your last fight that your son actually chose your walkout song. Is that something that happened also in this fight too? Uh, yeah, he, he chose the DMX, X gonna give it to you. I had a, I was like, you sure this song? He's like, yes, yes. And I'm like, okay, I'll rock with it. So we're 2-0 with it. And I guess just lastly for me, because you're you know, punctuating this whole trip with a great win for sure, but I noticed you got to see you know, Christ the Redeemer with some of your boys. What was that experience like? Um, it's awesome. You know, this is my first time uh, you know, traveling, leaving the country, and, uh, and just and get the, get the experience, experience that with my best friends and my coach and everyone. Um, it's just awesome. You, know? you, you, uh, you only live once, and you know, I'm always going to cher cherish this moment.